Did you know? During World War II, the British Royal Navy turned a frozen iceberg into a secret battleship project. It was called Project Habakkuk, one of the most bizarre and ambitious military projects of the war. The Allies were struggling to protect their supply ships crossing the Atlantic from German U-boats. Aircraft carriers could help, but they were expensive and took years to build. That's when Geoffrey Pike, an eccentric British inventor, came up with a wild idea. Make an aircraft carrier out of ice. Why ice? Pike believed it was cheap, easy to repair, and wouldn't sink if hit by torpedoes. He proposed building a massive, unsinkable ship from a special material called picrete, a mixture of ice and wood pulp. Picrete was surprisingly strong and melted much more slowly than regular ice. To test the concept, a prototype model was constructed in Canada, measuring about 60 feet long and kept frozen with a refrigeration system. The planned full-size Habakkuk would have been colossal, 2,000 feet long, 300 feet wide, and capable of carrying hundreds of aircraft. It would have been virtually unsinkable and a game-changer in the Atlantic War. However, the project faced challenges. Keeping the ship frozen required a massive cooling system, and the cost of producing enough picrete was astronomical. As the war progressed, traditional aircraft carriers became more feasible, and Project Habakkuk was eventually scrapped. Winston Churchill himself reportedly loved the idea, and even suggested testing the durability of picrete by shooting at it during a meeting. According to one account, a block of picrete was placed on a table, and a bullet fired at it ricocheted off, almost injuring someone in the room. Subscribe for more.